I've done it again, I, I've pulled another movie from the Masters of Cinema, this time it's Shane, number 123 in that series from 1953 and this was one that I had often seen. I, I've seen scenes from it in other movies, I've seen scenes in the TV, I felt like I knew the rough story going along here and I've just never sat down and watched the full thing and when I sat down to watch it I was instantly captivated. I loved the character of Shane and the other people that we meet uh, along the way whether it be Joe and his family or the villains or Jack Plants uh, as the real bad guy in this one. Everything was captivating. From that opening shot I knew I was in the hands of a great director, filmmaker who knew exactly the tale he was going to tell and that I was going to love it and I did from the opening scenes of seeing Shane ride into Joe's farm have a little bit of an antagonising uh, chat with him and then ultimately try and help him out and, and be integrated into part of that family and it's nice to see this gunslinger who we know is extremely touchy uh, uh, and dangerous he's always reaching for his gun um, it's, it's hard for him to switch off and just being around these people who just want to survive, who just want to live and grow and have their family. It is a nice change for Shane and he just gets drawn into this family and really appreciates uh, all the parts of it. And it's great to see uh, young Joey really attach himself to Shane as another kind of father figure as well as Joe to really get the two best characteristics from these people. It's not as simple as that though and it does have a kind of typical storyline for these movies. We have these settlers who are trying to just create a little bit of land and a farm for themselves. We have the, the large, um, stronger person who's opposing that and wants to drive them out by violence if necessary, which is the Riker ca uh, camp and, and his crew that's with him. And he brings in Jack Palance as Wilson midway through the movie, but we'll get to that. And you just have these antagonising forces. You've got this Riker who wants all this land and you've got these settlers who just want a little piece, who just want to settle down and create their family and are driven out. But you have a sense of community amongst those settlers that I really liked. Even though they'll poke fun and rib each other, they are one together. And there are some really exciting, intense moments in this movie that is building towards a finale that you can see coming but it doesn't detract any power from the movie whatsoever. There was one specific scene that really got to me, that really got under my skin for some reason and I, I genuinely felt anxious and terrified for the characters on screen and that's when uh, Shane goes into town, he's left his guns which again made me feel wary for the character. Um, he goes into a trading shop, he, he's dealing with some things, he goes into the bar to get something for little Joey. When he starts to be bullied and picked on by one of these guys and, and all the while I felt that Shane could handle himself. I felt that he had the inner strength and outer strength to really deal with this situation and although he's often quick to violence you feel he's being more restrained and controlled because that's what Joe's wishes were and he just likes this lifestyle without any hassle but these people are going to niggle him they're going to antagonize him and that's what really brought out the anxious nature within me as I was watching this I, I felt myself worried for the character he was outnumbered there was more people here he felt the rage rising in him but he also had that ability to step back and just take it and not uh, snap uh, and to see these bullies ultimately feel like they'd won uh, not realising the situation uh, was antagonising for me. I, I wanted them to get their comeuppance and that was just an idea of how ingrained I was within this story. I was I was into it. I bought into the character of Shane, the family of Joe um, and the fact that they were being persecuted just because when Wilson comes into it, a hired uh, gunslinger in the form of Jack Plants and his razor sharp cheekbones, you just have a sense of danger about this character. He's dressed in black, he doesn't say much, he has this 
confident swagger and smile all uh, the while as if he knows that, that he is uh, just lethal in nature and that nobody's going to best him and you get that feeling of wondering whether Shane is going to be able to rise against Wilson near the end and the movie has wonderful set pieces all the way through that I really enjoyed it gave me a wealth of side characters that I really liked and wanted them just to win out this situation some of them will some of them won't even the finale was rousing at the end and at the heart of it although it's an exciting gunslinging shootout at the end it was more about the redemption of this character of Shane you don't know his, ba his past his backstory you never really told you have a an inclination to what he was up to but it's never really said but you feel like this has been a redemptive feeling for him becoming attached to this family becoming one with this family is something that's really kind of almost wiped his slate clean and doing this task to save them is redeeming itself as well I mean I, I utterly loved Shane the, 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 the film making the framing the, the rocky mountains in the background the, the the thick mud in the street of the town everything just looked wonderful and its aesthetic was just stunning I, I utterly loved it again I have just went to the collection and pulled out a goddamn masterpiece of a movie makes me glad to have this collection makes me glad to know that I can just touch something like that that's going to touch me I'd love to know your thoughts on Shane let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on this one and I'll see you next time on Man V Film